Okay, today we want to go through and we're going to introduce you to the new Shin Gear Field Bib. We'll go over some of the details to it, kind of the fabric and uh, the reason why we kind of did some of the things that we're doing with this bib. Uh, the bib is something we're really proud of. We look at the bib as kind of being an extension of the waiter. Uh, we're using the same material that we do in the waiter, just like we did in the Hydrolock jacket. We're going to call them the Hydrolock bibs. Uh, it's the three layer nylon fabric, exact same fabric that we have in the waiter minus one layer. It makes it just a little bit lighter, a little bit more comfortable uh, in a bib type setting. And you're not, you're not submerging it in deep water. So we're able to take a layer out of it. Same quality on the face, same good feel, very comfortable. Um, kind of go through it a little bit. I'll show you some of the features on the outside of it, and then I'll kind of come to it and show you some of the features on the inside of it. We're doing them in a multitude of colors. We've got the mossy oak habitat pattern, mossy oak bottomland pattern, and then we have a field tan khaki color. So getting into it, we'll look at it and kind of go through some of the different features and stuff that we have on them and we'll kind of start right up here at the top uh, going through and kind of focusing on the zipper that's used again we kind of just same as in the hydrolock jacket we use that really good heavy duty ykk vislon zipper so it, you know it cleans really well and you can kind of say what do you mean by clean really well well we all know in a field environment we've got dust debris mud that gets in the zippers and really mud and dirt are, are enemies of zippers. They'll cause the teeth to separate. So you've got to use a good heavy duty, high quality zipper. But when you unzip it, it kind of will help clean some of that out. Then on the chest, we've got two vertical chest pockets that you can use for storage, for calls. You can put your cell phone into them, anything, your license, anything you want to put into those zippered pockets on the chest. Behind them, again, we have zippered pockets that are fleece lined, they're hand warmer pockets. You can see how you get it to them easily on both sides of the chest. It makes it very comfortable to put your hands up high and kind of stand like this, get that weight off your shoulders. Very comfortable place to put it. Same as in the waiter on the inside, we add that magnet pocket just like we do on the waiter, you drop your phone in there, put your license, anything you want to keep secured, hidden inside of there. When you come down onto the leg, we give you two more pockets that are fleece lined, places you can really comfortably put your hands down by your legs. Keep it like that, uh, zip it up, it'll keep water and debris out of it. They're very water resistant. And then when you come down the leg and you get down to, you know, some of the important stuff on them, we add that again we'll come onto the leg with that heavy ykk vislon zipper we zip it from just above the ankle to the knee so it's easy to get in and out of you don't have to worry about trying to run a zipper all the way up the leg that's going to break where it bends at the knees nothing like that you get it to the knee and down it doesn't go all the way to the bottom so you're not walking on it walking on a zipper breaks them really easily too then we came up with a way to just kind of give it a little quick, clean, easy way. There's no snaps, anything like that. We put magnets into the flap so that they'll close and keep that zippered cover. Really like how we did that. Come around to the back of the bib. On the inside of the back, we give you a really heavy duty nylon webbing. So you can, once you take them off, you get back to your mud room, get inside your trailer, wherever you want. It gives you a good place to hang them. So you're not hanging them by the suspenders. This is how you hang them. On the bib, where it differs from the waiter, we went back to elastic for the bib. So when you're in a layout blind, or if you're in a pit blind and you're up and you're down and you're moving, you have a whole lot more body movement than you do in a bib you want a little bit more elastic, a little bit more give in that product. This is not like a waiter that you're trying to lock down. You, you can go from laying down in a layout blind to trying to pop up, so you want to have that give. Crisscross in the back comes around, completely adjustable. There's no buckles or anything like that. We do put the tri-glide on it to hold it in place, make it fully adjustable. We silicone the diacritic so it's got grip, and then the back side of the shoulder strap, we add a lot of silicone knobs. So once you get them on, that bib is in place. It's not trying to slide off your shoulders, not go anywhere off of a jacket, no matter what kind you have on. It'll hold it in place really well. And that 
is the Shin Gear bib.